Sunday Morning Marketing Podcast is brought to you by Esther of IPA Group, bringing premier online promotion to your business. And Melanie of Stump Social Media Training, who empowers business owners to manage social media and marketing for themselves. And welcome back to another episode of the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. And it's that time of the year again, guys. Happy New Year. Once (laughs) again, we are here with our social media and marketing predictions for 2024. Now that's scary. That is very scary. How did we get to 2024? And our fourth anniversary. Yeah. Our fourth anniversary of running the podcast. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. We are so excited that this year we have so many special guests giving us their predictions (laughs) for social media. How did we get them, Melanie? Well, we attended an event um, only a a couple of months ago. Um, We're now dating again (laughs) our podcast. But um, we were at the Social Media Fest in Wexford that was ran by Samantha Kelly, a.k.a. Tweeting Goddess. And we managed to pin all these people in one, one area and we asked them their opinion. Yeah. And you'd be surprised, or maybe not, by their answers. So... First up, we have the lovely Jeanette O'Rourke giving us her prediction for 2024. My name is Jeanette and I'm from Kay's Flair School and my prediction for 2024 is first of all, it's going to be a bloom of colour. Colour is all in, all white is all out. And I think for anybody with their marketing is try and include colour in your um, advertisements and even dress colourful yourself, you know what I mean, when you're doing any of your social media. So that's my prediction. Well, it's not that surprising, really, is it coming from her, is it? So if you don't know who Jeanette O'Rourke is, you must be living under a rock because her and her sister uh, run Case Flower School. And as you could hear in her voice about the bloom of colour that will be coming in 2024, we think on these gloomy, gloomy days, we definitely need to have more blooming colour in our lives. So we want to see it, guys. We want to see your colour. So next up, we have got um, a good friend of ours um, who we've known over a while now. And this is Sarah Jane Vincent. And let's see what she is going to predict for us for 2024. Hey, my name is Sarah Jane. I am an SEO expert and digital strategist. My prediction for 2024 is, is to really hone in on your SEO organic search when it comes to all the AI that's coming down the line. The search engines will be changing and it's really, really important that you are on board and that you are optimizing your products and getting lots of reviews on Google so that you are really prepared when this comes along the line. So we will start to see a change in the way the search is displayed and so the best way for you to prepare for that is to as I said do all that stuff (laughs) yes I agree I agree I mean right on the nose there yeah SEO has always been a big one but people keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off 2024 make it your year to SEO your website and I do think it's more, it's actually easier now to do it. Um, there's more training, there's more, you know, YouTube videos, there's more downloads, there's more access to it. So there's really no excuse. And if you don't want to do it on your own, um, then there's lots more people who can help you with it. Yep. So it has become one of those indispensable parts of the industry. Moving on, we have... So who do we... Yeah. yeah, who do who, who do we have next? Next we have Kareem Mustafa. I hope I'm saying that right, Kareem. Apologies if I'm not. And his prediction for 2024. Hello, my name is Kareem Mustafa. I'm co-founder at Chopcast. And my prediction for marketing for 2024 is that people are going to start creating a lot more short-form video because it's much harder to replicate than blogs. Well, that's another one that I would agree with. Hello. I'm loath to say it because as you know, as avid listeners to this show, I don't do video, but it has been huge. We predicted it in 2023. It has been huge in 2023 and it will only get bigger. And easier and more accessible and more places to do it. And 
more tools um, to edit within the actual app itself. So, yeah, completely agree. Yeah, you're going to say no excuses, right? Well, it's about <laughs> flipping time, really, frankly. Um, okay, so next up we have Orla Kelly. I wonder if she's going to dazzle us with her latest uh, prediction. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, I'm Orla Kelly of Orla Kelly Publishing, and my prediction for marketing for 2024 is more AI-generated content. Again, you can't deny this one. I mean, AI is no. going to be huge. I mean, the, the advances in the last few months alone have just been astounding, uh, whether it be text, image, video. I mean, AI is everywhere so we should yeah. be using it adopting it adapting it uh, and not just taking it at face value either and it's just creeping into every part of our life these days isn't it yeah yeah it really is it really is that um you just can't get away from it you can't um but there are still those who are fearful of it but i would say it's time to embrace the future and talking about embracing the future uh we have amanda webb who has been on this podcast a few times as well she gave us her predictions last year too and they were spot on so let's see what she has to tell us for 2024 I'm Amanda Webb. My business is spider working and my digital marketing prediction for 2020. I'm trying to be optimistic, but my marketing prediction for 2024 is that we're going to see a battle of the social networks. They all want to be the one social network to rule them all that does everything for us. And I wonder, is it going to become like political parties? Could there be a war of social networks? On a positive note, one thing that I'm trying to get my head around is the idea of decentralized social networks, which means we will have one profile that will work across all those different social networks. So when they do go to war, it's OK, because whoever wins, we can be on their side. See, this is when it gets a little bit deeper, isn't it? And a bit more complex for people. But what do you think? Do you think it's going to be a case of a fully decentralized social media? I think a lot of people are fed up with being told what they have to see by the algorithm that they will prefer to go to new sites that are more decentralized and that they have they themselves as people have more control over so yeah i would i would agree with this one hmm. i would prefer um that they not be as controlled and controlling because social media does control our minds in a lot of things but I do think that just like with AI people are fearful of it um, but it should be something that we accept and try to adopt at least with a pinch of salt and hopefully it all works out well Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I mean, what could go wrong? <laughs> Who's up next, Melanie? Right. I think we should hear from Anita Wong. Um, she's an incredible presence online and uh, we, we had the great privilege of, of speaking to her. So let's see what she has to say. So my name is Anita Wong and I'm a YouTube strategist and my prediction for 2024 is to put your podcast onto YouTube. Here we go, another <laughs> stab at Esther, isn't it? <laughs> Get the podcast on YouTube. Something else. To I do. did not pay her. <laughs> yeah, you did. Tell the truth. <laughs> no, I did not. Uh, all I can say is you just never know what which of these predictions for 2024 will come true. Oh, come on. We've got to try at some stage. Watch this space. Is all I'm saying. I'm not saying anything more. Moving on, moving swiftly on. We have Declan O'Keefe uh, with his prediction for what's coming up in 2024. My name is Declan O'Keefe from uh, Dex Pets, and one of my big predictions for 2024 is that businesses will be leveraging user generated content a lot more. That's an interesting one, isn't it? I don't think it's given enough credit, actually. I don't think people look hard enough at their own 
users generated content um, because we're, we're so busy spending time broadcasting rather than sharing and being social. Yes. And as we usually tell you guys, social media is firstly social and then yeah. the media. So reach out to your listeners, your uh, watchers, your viewers, your purchasers and hear what they have to say. It's quite simple. I think we should hear from Hannah. She has been on the podcast a couple of times as well. Um, and, you know, there's just so many areas that we need to embrace in social. So let's see what she's going to be suggesting for us for this year. Hi, I'm Hannah McDonald from Hannah McDonald Marketing. Um, my prediction for 2024 is going to be that LinkedIn is going to be the place to be. I know other social medias uh, are also going to be powerful, but LinkedIn is where the growth is going to happen. And I, if you're not on LinkedIn, you should be. Well, that was no surprise, really, coming from Hannah. Well, not no no surprise coming from Hannah. But what is surprising is that, you know, there's there's been so many things taken away from LinkedIn recently um, that, you know, I'm wondering what secret sauce does Hannah have? <laughs> <laughs> um, but she does, doesn't she? Because you, you just see this ongoing repetitive um, engagement with her content. Yeah. Um, so maybe maybe this is something we're not looking at properly or objectively enough. Well, she's definitely putting the social into social media. Yeah. She definitely Well, is. yes, she is actually. You know. Yeah. Um, next up, let's hear from Carol Gaffney. Hello, my name is Carol Gaffini. I'm from Gaffini Studio. I'm co-founder of Gaffini Studio. I'm a branding expert. And my prediction for 2024 is a taste device that it's going to help uh, the, the consumers not only to see, not only to see the advertisement, not only to hear the advertisement, but also to taste. Imagine, for example, a chocolate company that wants to release a new chocolate flavor and then they will have um, this device. We are going to have this device, and then they're going to be able to introduce that new taste to their consumers. So that's my prediction for 2024. Thank you. Well, I wasn't expecting that. No, that came right out of left field. That, I, I personally... That's just bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of smell vision Remember those scratch cards we used to get when we were children? <laughs> <laughs> they tried to implement. I think that was during Children in Need. It's a thing that um, we all had here growing up in the UK. Um, still going on, but I've never seen smell vision since. But that's, yeah, that's a strange one. Mm. Interesting. Would you be up for that? I don't know. Um, imagine watching your I'd favorite. Say it's pretty ambitious. Imagine watching your favorite TikTok video about cooking and being able to taste Oh, wouldn't that be good? <laughs> you see, you see, now you're really into it. Oh God, wouldn't that be fun if that actually came true? Now I'm hungry. Yeah. Who's next? Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Um, okay, so next up we're going to hear from Gary Evans. And Gary, um, we've been <laughs> we've been trying to get him on the podcast for a while, haven't we? We have. He's he's coming up soon, guys. Hold <laughs> hold with us in this one. We promise. We promise he'll be here soon. So, Gary. But let's hear what he has to say first. Far away, Gary. Hi, I'm Gary from uh, Feed Alpha. Some stuff that we see coming down the tracks for marketing. Everyone talks about AI. AI is still massive and it's going to be even bigger with a lot of automation. We're building out version two at the minute and there's a lot of AI smarts included in that. So stay tuned. So we have to check out Feed Alpha in 2024. Mm. If they're implementing all these new features. Sounds like a good one. It sounds good one. It sounds like I think we try to do too many things by ourselves and we try and, and take on too much, especially as small business owners. And there are these tools that are out there that can help you. Yeah. Uh, you know, yes, why your, not your, use them? Absolutely. And they give you reporting, they give you analytics, they give you um, so uh, either an overview or an, even a microscopic view of what you need to be working on. So why not use them? Why not? Why not? Mm. Next up, we're going a little old school yeah. with Denise Whitmore. 
So my name is Denise Whitmore. My company is the social media department. Uh, my prediction for marketing for 2024 is the use of more physical products such as um, physical diaries and planners and people kind of moving away from digital planners. I do love me a good planner. I think a lot of us prefer something tangible, something you can touch yeah. and feel and I think it gives you more focus, more presence when you're trying to build a strategy because, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that there isn't a place for putting things up on um, tools and apps, but to write it down somewhere and, you know, pencil it and, you know, rub it out and reinforce it and then put it on, even on whiteboards and chalkboards and I don't know. Post-it just, notes. Honestly, yeah, it, it does make a difference. I think it becomes more ingrained as part of you. And have you, I mean, we both had a good look at um, yeah, Denise's the planner's fabulous. planner. It's enormous. Um, and we've used other planners we have. in the past from other people. And there's just, every time you open up another page, there's another tidbit. There's another QR code with a bit more information. So there's a lot of hidden value in these planners, I've got to say. Yeah, yeah. Who's next? Who's next? We're rattling through these predictions. Well, we're definitely trying, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> um so I think we should hear from Roz Kelly, uh, who's some relation somewhere <laughs> to Samantha Kelly. <laughs> sister. She's her sister. <laughs> I was trying to be subtle there, okay? My name is Roz and I work at webtemp.ie and my prediction for marketing next year is uh, more use of voice search through people um, literally using their mobile phones and across their tablets, voice searching for everything they want. So make sure you've got your SEO done for voice. Voice search has been around for ages, but people don't use it properly. I think it's one of those things that it's our accent or we think it doesn't understand. And in, in most cases, in, in my case anyway, it is my accent and my um, smart devices are not as smart. <laughs> as they should be when it comes to regional <laughs> accents. But it's a great tool. And I used it actually just recently to uh, debunk some myths while I was in the car. <laughs> but it's one of those things that you can just pick up your watch, you can pick up your phone, you can pick up anything and use it. Do you know that's three things now related to search, Esther? Yeah, well, it's search is important people are looking for you so make it easy for them mm. you know so that's social search voice search and of course seo as well so i can see search playing a big role well we're going to hear what ashley watson has to say now i'm ashley from copper square and my prediction for social media marketing in 2024 is a rise in using social for search so by that I mean, instead of going to Google to find answers to something, that we would search TikTok or Instagram or one of the social media platforms to find out um, latest trends or news or places to go. So yes, yeah, social search. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Melanie. <laughs> if you've managed to listen to this length of the podcast, you'll know that this happens quite regularly. <laughs> There's always bleep a real along the way. <laughs> But you were just so excited because it is search, search engine optimization, social search, voice search. Search is on the rise. People are searching for the meaning of life and the meaning of everything. Full so TJ. why not get in? <laughs> exactly. Why not get in there and be top of the search engine? Have your voice searches ready. Um, have your social searches. So make sure that you have your hashtags, your meta tags, your everything that needs to be done when you're uploading your videos. Do that too. We also fully appreciate you have nothing better to do with your time than do all of this all by yourself. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's it's the 1st of January. Why would anybody have anything else to do today? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're sat here recording a podcast. Well, there is a... So why should anybody else be doing anything? You know, don't, don't spend time. Don't. No, not saying that. Um, don't take time off work. 
work 24 seven. That's what you need to do. Actually, you need to surround yourself with people like us who can help you. Who do we have up last but not least, Melanie? We have last but not least, Dylan Lowry. So Dylan, sound us out for our final prediction of 2024. My name is Dylan Lowry. Uh, I work for the social media for the Farmer's Journal. I suppose in 2024, I think social media is going to take a lot more uh, shorter form content. I think user uh, user generated content and especially kind of uh, shorter form content is going to be more uh, prominent in the future for, for brands that build their business. It's interesting, isn't it, that the predictions repeated a couple of times through mm. that, you know, AI, user generated content, um, social search, uh, short form videos. There's a lot of that coming through in all of these predictions mm. and i don't think there's any getting away from any of them as much as we would love to run and hide from some of them 2024 will be big for these things guys trust us i do think it's important to note though guys that video is still important esther <laughs> was that aimed at me melanie well it, i said I esther quite understand the subtle hint <laughs> so much subtlety in that mm. did you get that guys mm. if, if you got that you know let us know if you listen to this length of time no i always love doing our predictions though i always love listening back i did actually listen to last year's this is this is a revelation now guys i did actually listen back to last year's predictions and 99 percent of them i would say actually happened in 2023 so we're not saying that you know we're geniuses obviously we didn't come up with these predictions this year it was special guests and people that we <laughs> bombarded with a microphone but um we're very grateful for them and we do agree with 99 percent of them if not all we'd love the taste one to come true mm. as long as we're watching great british bake-off that would be unusual though wouldn't and it <laughs> it really would it really would <laughs> can we all go to willy wonka's <laughs> chocolate factory and try it oh yeah well, I hope you have found this uh, interesting. I hope it's given you something to gauge 2024 with and give you something to aspire to and for. I want to thank all of our special guests. Thank you so much for your predictions. Um, and, you know, I'll tell you what, if we actually see some real growth in these areas, we might just get them back on again to give their thoughts. What do you think? I think that's a great plan. So that's all for now, guys. But we'll be back very, very, but we'll be back very, very soon with another podcast. Bye.